Hi, Crosspoint. I want to share with you five things as we approach this week moving into Easter. First of all, do you have prayer needs? Do you have uh, physical needs right now because of the pandemic? Are there ways that we can serve you? Uh, please, if any of those apply, please shoot me an email, dave at crosspointcc.org, and that will help us as an elder team be able to uh, support you, pray for you, and walk with you in this season. The next thing, Good Friday service. We'll be live streaming a service at 7 p.m. on our YouTube channel. We hope to also be on Facebook, uh, barring any technical glitches, but we'll be doing communion that night and remembering the cross. So gather up communion supplies. Parents, you'll see in this week's Connection Link email some counsel, some ways that you can uh, encourage your kids as it relates to the topic of communion. If you need supplies, let me know, church, and uh, I'll get those in your hands. Next thing, Easter morning, 10 a.m., we will be uh, live streaming our service again. We hope to be on YouTube and Facebook both. I encourage you to share that link, invite others, uh, even before Sunday morning, invite others to click in and join us on Easter morning. If there's ever a season where we need to be reminded of living hope, it is right now. And so it is a providential time that we are going to celebrate the resurrection this coming Sunday. Next thing, fourth thing, on our website, under COVID-19 updates, under In the Know, COVID-19 updates, that page, there are all sorts of resources for you to connect uh, virtually with one another. We do prayer calls at noon. Sun Chaser resources are out there. Hype as well. A virtual community group on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. that John Watts is going to lead for us and studying Romans 8. And so there's all sorts of things there. I encourage you to uh, check that out, as well as a Spotify playlist and the Dwell Bible reading app. and So all sorts of things there. And then finally, I want to read to you uh, 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of his great mercy, he's given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading kept in heaven for you you are being guarded by god's power through faith for a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time you rejoice in this even though now for a short time if necessary you suffer grief in various trials so that the proven character of your faith more valuable than gold which though perishable is refined by fire may result in praise glory and honor at the revelation of jesus christ Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though not seen him now, you believe in him, and you rejoice with inexpressible and glorious joy because you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Church, live with living hope this week because of the resurrection. Jesus rose from the dead from the third day, and we have now received salvation. It is imperishable, undefiled, an anchor for our lives right now. You're loved, you're missed, you're prayed for. Looking forward to celebrating Good Friday and Easter with you this week.